Welcome to Beaded Doilies by Shell. In today's video, we are going to be making a napkin ring to match my large doily. We are going to be using the two needle string technique. Um, I have six pound fishing line that I will be using. And the beads I will be using is the size eight seed beads. And these are the three colors that I have chosen for this project. In my patterns I have instructions on how to um, figure out which width of band because I have three sizes. I wanted this piece to be one and a half, one to one and a half inches wide so I'm using the widest band. Um, I, the instructions also tell you how to mark your pattern and I wanted mine to be four to five inches long so I have my marks already. I also have up a video that will help you um, if you have trouble understanding the instructions I show you the instructions which might be easier for you you can find it at YouTube at this URL. All right we will begin now with the band patterns, I start at the bottom right circle, um, so that would be this one right here, so we're going to add all yellow to our first, so we'll put on the start bead which will be yellow, then we'll put one, two yellows on the left string, and one two yellows on the right string and then we will take a yellow and we will cross and bring that down and that gives us our first circle. Now our second circle is also all yellow so we will put one, two on the left and one two on the right and we will cross with a yellow. Now we want one yellow on the right string and then we want two reds on the left and a red on the right. Let those drop and then we're going to cross with a red. Now we'll put one red on the right and two reds on the left. And then we'll add a yellow to the right, let those drop, and then we will cross with a yellow. Every so often you want to check and make sure that you are adding to the correct string. So here is what our piece should look like at this point. And now our next circle, we need all yellow. So we'll add one, two to the left, and one, two to the right, and then cross. Now we're gonna add another all yellow circle.
Now we want one red on the left, two reds on the right, and then we want a green on the left, and we're going to cross with a red. Now we want two greens on the left, and two yellows on the right. And we cross with a red. And we check our piece. So far everything is landing just right. Our next circle will be all red. I usually use the four millimeter beads in my tutorials as I find them a little bit easier to work with, but I thought it would be nice to do this one as I wanted to make napkin rings with the 08 beads so that you could see a piece done with those beads. Now we want two greens on the right. And we want a red followed by a yellow on the left. And we are going to cross with a red. Grabbed the wrong bead. Red. Now we want two greens on the right, and yellow, followed by a red. And then we are going to cross with the red. Now we're going to do all red. Now our next will be two yellows on the right and two greens on the left. piece so far. Now we put a green on the left followed by a red and we put two reds on the right and we're going to cross with a yellow. Now our next two circles will be all yellow. That's one.
that too. Now we need a yellow on the right, followed by a red, and then two reds on the left, and we are going to cross with a red. Now we want two reds on the left. A red on the right, followed by yellow, and then we're going to cross with yellow. Now we're going to add one more circle. It will be all yellow. Now I'm going to bring over the enlarged print. Now we are ready to add this circle right here. This is our last circle because that's where our line is. And the bead that the line is going through is the same bead as this one. So it is a shared bead. Let's see if we can get them both in the picture. Yes. So this bead here and this one down here are both shared beads, so they're the same bead. So we want to actually cross this one here on the side. So we're going to start with our right string, making sure your piece is laid out correctly. We'll take the right string and we are going to add two yellow beads. One, two, Oh, actually, we're going to add three because we want. No, no, no. Yeah. Sorry. We're going to add two beads. Okay, so that's one, two. We've added those. Then you want to take your piece and making sure that your string is on the right, you want to enter from the right side the shared bead on the end of your piece. Bring that down. Now you want to take your other string, the one you were not using, your other one, and you want to add one bead to it, this one right here. So we're going to add one bead. And now we're going to take both of our strings and we're going to add our cross bead. So we will cross here. Bring that down. Now we want our strings coming out of two circles. So this string is coming out of this bead here on this circle. So we want the bead next to it that is on the circle next to it to have a string. So you take the string on that side and you go through that bead. So we are now coming out of this bead here and this bead here. So our string is coming out here and here. So keeping our work to the right, we take the bottom string that's coming out the bottom or down towards the bottom and we are going to add one, two, and then we come down here three, and then we're going to cross this one. So they are all red, so we will add one, two, three, and then we'll take both of our strings and we will cross a red one.
And that finishes off this half circle here and this half circle here. And we are now back at the bottom of our pattern and we're going to work up the next row. So we'll put this aside and we're now at the bottom of our pattern and we're going to work up that row. So with the new row you take your right string and you go through the two side beads on your finished row. And then you add to your left string. And this we are adding all red. So we want two reds onto your left string. And we cross with a third red. Now we go through the next two side beads. And our next circle is going to be one red on your left followed by a green and then we're going to cross with a red. And this is how your pattern should look so far. You have one, two circles that are all red and then you have this one that has some green in it. Now we go through the next two side beads. It's one, two, and our next circle is going to be a green. Remember you're adding to the left string, then a red, and then we are going to cross with a red. Now our next two sets of beads will all be red. We add two and cross one. And that's one set. If you just want to check your piece, here's how it should look so far. Now, we've added one, two. We need two reds. And we are going to cross with a green. Now we want a set of all green. Now 
one red, followed by yellow. And we're going to cross with a red. A yellow followed by a red and we're going to cross with a yellow And here's how our piece looks so far. And now this next set is going to be all yellow. Now we need a red, a yellow, and we'll cross with a red. We need a yellow, a red, and we're going to cross with a green. Now this set's going to be all green. two, three, all red sets. There's one. two, there we have three piece so far. Now we need a red, followed by a green, and we're going to cross with a red.
the green. And a red. And we cross with the red. Now, we've just added this circle right here. This one is done, and this one is done. So you can see here, all we have is two beads we need to add. We're going to cross with the top one. So, what we need to do is we need to go through our two side beads as usual. But we also need to go through this last bead on our beginning of our row. So that both of our strings are coming out towards the side. Now we're going to take the bottom one, which is the left string that we usually add to, and we're going to add one red to it. And then we're going to cross with a second red. And like before, we want our string each coming out of a separate circle, and we want the beads to be next to each other. So we see this bead is here, so we want this one coming out of this bead next to it that is on the next circle. So our beads are now coming out here and our string is now coming out these two beads here and this is done. So we're going to add a yellow so we're going to add one, two, three and we're going to cross this shared bead. So we're going to add a yellow then a red And then another yellow. And we're going to take both of our strings. And we're going to cross with a red. And then we go through our next two side beads. And this circle is done, and this teleports us back to this end, where this bead here is already added, as it is our shared bead, and we will start here. So we're going to add one, two, and then cross. So that will be a yellow, a red, and we cross with a yellow. And that gives us two circles. And that completes the circle here up top and this circle down here at the bottom. And we are now ready to continue. We have added we are on the third. We've added this one here. Yes, and this one here. So we are now ready to add this next circle, which is yellow. Red. And cross with a green. Now our string has become short enough. Oh, <laughs> I made one of those slight boo-boos. I forgot to go through the connecting beads. So if your circle sort of scrunches up and looks wrong, you, you can kind of know that you forgot to go through your connecting beads. So we will do that now, go through our two connecting beads. And then we will re-add a yellow 
red and crossing with a green. And then we will remember to go through our connecting beads. Now this next circle will be all green, but also my string is quite short and if you are using three feet as I am using, your string will, and the same size beads, your string will be quite short also. So we will add all three of the greens that we need to add to our left string. So that's one, two, three, and we'll let them drop. Then we will make a normal knot, one, bring it down. Then we'll do a double, oops, get back to the other. We'll go do a double where we go over once, twice, and we'll bring it down, but don't pull tight yet. Now with these small beads, I don't like to go through the last one I added because the knot is a little big and it can get in the way when you go to add your new string. So what I do instead is I go through the first connecting bead that is next to the last one, or would be next to the last one we just added. Then we pull our knot inside of it and pull tight. And to secure it, I like to go through um, and thread back or thread through a couple of circles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this direction and I'm going to go through three circles. So we'll go through this center bead here and we'll go up two beads on this side. And as we're already through one side bead here, we'll just go through one side bead and then we'll cross the center bead. And then we'll go through the strings on each side, two beads. And we'll cross the center. And we'll go through another circle. Cross the center. And I like to pull it tight and then loosen it up because with the seed beads they don't always lay perfectly so this helps to keep the string where you want it. And we'll take our two ends and we'll clip off the excess. And now when we come back we will add our string and start with the um, next set of beads, it comes after our circle of green. Um, see you there.